What is going on inside of that that it sends 120 slash 240 volts into your house on a single phase? Let me show you. Yesterday I did a video on how 240 volts works without having a neutral. And I'm getting a lot of the same questions, which I love answering them, but instead of having to type the same thing over and over again, I'm going to do this video, which will answer the questions. And when people ask a repetitive question that I've already answered, I can just tag them here. So this is inside the transformer. This would be the primary side. Um, the utility company might use a different name, but I call this the phase conductor. It goes through and returns on the neutral. In this photograph of the transformer on my house, this is the phase. That's the neutral. Now, like I said, I'm not a utility guy. They might use different terminology, but the current, either way, the current the electricity passes down here through the coil and returns that way. Now, everything's AC, so that means everything's flipping. Everything's going back and forth, off and on, back and forth, positive, negative, okay? That moving electrical field through a coil can induce a voltage in the coil next to it. And the transformer is set up so that that induced voltage between these two points will equal 240 volts. Back to the photograph. Can you see the number 25? And directly above it, there's three terminals. The two outside terminals are the two I just drew. We have 240 volts between those two terminals. And like I said in the other video, we have AC. So sometimes the current flows in this direction and sometimes it flows in that direction. And there is our 240 volts. Where do we get our 120? So this one coil producing one circuit is a phase. That's why we have single phase. But where do we get our neutral from? Where do we get our 120 in this situation? All right, this is where the neutral comes in. We take a connection to the middle of the coil and we bring it out. This one phase we have, we have now split into two half phases. And the potential from one end to the other is 240, but the potential from one end to the middle is our 120. One end to middle is our 120. That is why your house is a single phase, but it's split. It's a split single phase. Okay, now we're back at the picture. You see the number 25, you have the two outside connections that we talked about. The neutral connection that has been added is that middle connection right above my head. I'm gonna to have to use my head as a pointer. So that is the neutral. Now the neutral is also our grounded conductor. So if you follow it, it's kind of hard to tell in this picture, it goes over to here, connects to the utility neutral, but then a pigtail comes off that and it connects to this guy wire. And this guy wire is the ground for my transformer. I've been through this a bunch of times on videos, a lot of other places, or even maybe it's supposed to be my place. Uh, there should be another ground wire running down the pole and they shouldn't be using the guy wire. They use the guy wire in my area. All right, and then if you can tell these black wires right here, that little fitting there and that little connection there, they go over to that plastic thing right behind it. That plastic thing is the weather head that goes down to the underground pipe that goes off into my house. Now here's the inside of a panel. It's a mess because this is where I do about all my experiments. These are the two outside connections off the transformer. Between the two of them, I have 246 volts. This is the neutral to that. I have 124 and 120. Now, if you look, this one is here, and that leg is here, making them do every other. They don't do left and right. Can you see how they do every other? Now that they're doing every other, I hope you can see that these two connections are an extension of those two, which is an extension of both ends of the coil, the full coil, which gives me 240 volts. If it was a single pole breaker, a single pole breaker only grabs one of the legs. So if you go the single pole breaker, oops, didn't mean to bump the phone, sorry, to neutral, you will see half of the full coil. Hopefully that helps. Kind of a lot of information there, really basic overview of the system, but I feel like I was trying to answer this question a lot and typing a lot. So now, I tag people, and if they really want to know, they can spend the four minutes hearing what I have to say. Thank you very much.